Hey everybody. One of the biggest gripes I had about Windows 10, um, second to the lack of Windows Media Center, was the Windows Update, it would just force you to install updates. Basically, if you look into settings, you can go to Windows Update, you'll see in Advanced Options, under Default Settings, this set to automatic, recommended, of course, yeah, they recommend that, uh, yeah. And you have automatic here as well, just except it, notifi it notifies you to schedule a restart time instead of automatically restarting your machine. So you have automatic and automatic. And that's one thing I can't stand. Now, at least when you have Windows 10 Pro, you can choose a defer upgrades option, which will stop it from automatically downloading and installing new builds of Windows. Um, it's great for if you're like in a business or you prefer not to have the newer builds of Windows installed automatically until you had a chance to test them on a third machine or whatnot. Um, but basically, there's two ways you can tell Windows 10 and say, hey, I'm the boss here. I'll install updates when I want to. So basically, um, if you have Windows 10 Pro, you can use the Group Policy Editor. Now, of course, here I have the Windows 7 style start menu installed. Let's go ahead and launch the Group Policy Editor. Here we are. In Group Policy Editor, you'll choose um, Administrative Templates on the left, and Windows Components over here. You double click it. Locate Windows Updates. There's Windows Update. Double click it. And we'll choose Configure All Mac Updates. And you can see by default it's not configured. We'll set it to enabled. And now you can choose either of these four options. Allow local admin to choose setting, which don't choose that. Allow download and schedule to install. So you know, auto download, schedule to install. It's pretty much what it's already set to now. Now we have here we have auto download and notify for install. This is sort of like Windows 7. And here we have notify for download and notify for install. This this is the option you can choose to stop Windows 10 from automatically downloading updates without your consent. We'll choose that and we'll choose OK. <clears throat> now let's see if you have Windows 10 Home. You don't have Group Policy Editor, or you know things like that. You'll need to use the Registry Editor. Here we have Registry Editor. Um, we we'll need to navigate to the following key. HK Local Machine, Software, Policies, Microsoft. Make it a little bigger. Windows, Windows Update, and AU. Basically, you would want to um, set a new D word value AU options, which Group Policy Editor has already taken care of this for us. You can see, um, there it is, AU Options. But let's say if you wanted to create a new value, you would say New, and choose DWORD 32-bit value. And you can see, it's, it's really similar to what Group Policy Editor does. I'll go ahead and reopen Group Policy Editor again. And to show you the similarities of this configuration. Shrink something, shrink it down a little bit, which I can't. When you create this D word value, you simply um, set a number. You can see how number two is notified for download and notify for install. You have option two, three, four, and five. So let's say if you wanted to auto download and schedule the install, you would set it to a value of four. Now in this case, we have it set to a value of two. So if you're using Windows 10 Home and don't have the Group Policy Editor, this is how you can actually set this option. And technically, you could you know you could actually. Um, you could actually, um, act, if you if you deploy Windows 10 regularly, I mean, you could actually export this. 
if you wanted to. That way you could simply double click it and have it do its thing. I may actually do that right now. I'm going to set this to um, Set that to notify to download. Just give it a simple old title and just copy that so that way. I'm gonna actually store this on my um, on my network drive and save it. So if I go look at this key, I don't waste you guys time too much more. Here you can see here's our registry entry. We'll just choose edit to open a notepad. You can see what it does here. It is simply um, we have saved that key. Simple enough. Close out. Close out. And to com complete the step of configuring this update, you'll just check for updates. And now if we go into advanced, you'll have a, you'll now have a message here that says some settings are managed by your organization. And look here, this is actually phased out. You can't change it. But you can see it says notified to download. It's not going to automatically download and install updates ever again without asking you first. But anyways, in a nutshell, that's how you can um, um, tell Windows 10 who's boss in regards to Windows updates. This way you can take control of your computer again and not let Windows 10 just, um, decide when it wants to install updates. It'll work on your schedule now. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video for what it is. Any questions or comments? Perfect, that's an extra watching.